Dual mono. Okay, listen, this is a dual mono. What does a dual mono mean? Mm -hmm. Two amplifiers bridge inside the heat sink. Okay, this is it. How much power does it push? How many channels does it have? Where's the efficiency? Where's the power? The answer that you want to give, what is dual mono block and why is it a big deal? Because it's truly two individual amplifiers with individual power supplies. You don't get crosstalk and you have, a, you really do have a cleaner output. Um, and, and that's just what, which everything about the amp is designed to give you a cleaner output, but that does participate in that. Um, so that's would probably be my, my best explanation for a consumer and not overwhelm them. It's two individually, uh, rant amplifiers that, um, that are a mirror image of one another. And again, that's just part of why the NT amp was built. Okay, because single it, layer, dual layer. Uh, what is it? Uh, what 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 material are you using to you know to run the circuit? And 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 I would tell you about layers, but I also don't. I don't know if we want to get into that because back in the day, everything was two layers. The only reason we did the fourth layer was to clean up where a lot of the old school amps, you know, had wires inside. We, mm -hmm. That's the only reason we added the uh, internal layers just so we can keep it clean and look nice. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Yeah, you yeah. know what? That's, that's a selling point right there. Because mm -hmm. hey, back in the day, it used to be two layers. Now they told me this is it's four layers. This it, is what oh, it can be six. It can be four, six, eight. It's a FR four. Yeah. Because back in the days was the best thing to come out. That's right. Beautiful. That's right. Well, so so, okay. so without going too deep, I would just you know because again that's more like a a tech, a tech side of things. But um, I mean you can definitely say uh you can definitely say we we used to use uh one ounce copper back in the day. Now we're using two ounce. Okay, you could say that. And in some amps, depending on power size, we use up, up. you could say up to three ounce per layer. You could up say that. Three ounce in, ounce some, ounce. in some of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and and I think something else you might want to be able to put down. Again, I, I want to give you all some of the, I know as, as, as tech guys and all of us in the cardio world, we want to get all into the gravy. But but Edgar, I do understand where you're coming from is sometimes dumbing no, the down. The gravy, I will leave for you, my friend. The gravy, yeah. I say, listen, yeah, yeah. call Jack. Yeah. <laughs> do gold immersion okay and that's immersion it starts with an imm immersion is that on okay. these two items or is that in the future no that's now we i like doing gold immersion boy look it's not something that someone would pay extra or not for most don't care because once you solder it there's no gold left because it's on top of the gold that's not the purpose the purpose of the gold immersion this is the, what you might want to write down is this all the old boards was regular solder treatment right gold immersion allows boards to last longer our old boards are already on 35 years. So imagine what these will last, right? That's kind right. of the sales Beautiful. thing. It's kind of okay. like the last amplifier you'll ever buy because you're going to probably die before it breaks. That's kind of what we want to say. Maybe not in those words, but, but anyway. PCB material. Oh, no, I'll say it in those words. I said, bro, just it. make sure you leave it on your on your will because... Yes. Yeah, right, right. So look, up, up to up to up to three ounces, okay, and gold immersion on the boards, okay, and which hand, <laughs> which is better for longevity. Amplifiers and two independent power supplies joining into one into one channel output. It's two channels. Uh, it's two channels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we got two amplifiers. Are they in the same side or they're on on? Difference. Same size mirror image. Remember, that's why we did it so there's no cross talk through the through the circuit. So circuit. Both, both both amplifiers are two channel. Yeah, th look. Oh yes, yes, Edgar. Sorry. Both mm -hmm. the 100 and the 200 are both two channel stereo Mono amplifiers. amplifiers. That's right, two channel, which you can put the 100 down to a one ohm load and get nearly a thousand watts. It's it follows the old Orion mentality. It's this, you know, just like everything else we've ever did. Okay. Two channel. Mm -hmm. But but we're gonna but we're gonna make sure we put that in print. It was you two said channel. it was a two channel mono Stereo, block two amplifier, channel, mono bridgeable. Block. Right. Uh, they are independent. Each each channel is independent. They're mono mm -hmm. block. So that's right. Okay. Oh, what is current driven? Oh, Alex, what is a current driven? What does that mean a current driven? Is what, what is right. the difference between the current one and the current driven? A current. I'm gonna give you the basics. Okay. Most amplifiers are resistive driven. There's a current driven amplifier. It handles a speaker a little bit differently. Okay. It can perform its maximum wattage throughout the entire stroke of the speaker. It actually controls the speaker. It's literally a motor controller. Whereas other amplifiers are just pushing it out. Okay. It's just pushing the Push speaker. Pushing current. Okay? Right. This here, if you unplug the power and just hit 12 volts and don't have no 
RCAs plugged into it and have it with two subs in the box and you try to force a sub down, it's going to fight you to zero out the sub back in the center again. It has full control of speakers. It's one of the reasons you don't need a EQ on your tweeters, okay? Because clean and the way that it comes out, the tweakers not the tweeters naturally respond beautifully to a current driven amplifier. Power. Okay, power. Yeah. You, you mean total out power? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Water. I'm talking original about Iron Man's power. I'm talking the original. About. So again. this is what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. we're gonna. Okay, is this at one ohm stable? Yes, one ohm. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, one people ohm usually stable. people. This is what people. Oh, you know what? This is very important. I know you like ohm loads, and we want to talk about all that, and that's important, especially in the manual. Mm -hmm. Here's what we used to do, and it doesn't mean you have to do it this way. But here was a typical build. Guy would come in. I'm gonna sell him an NT kit. I'm gonna sell him two amps. I'm going to sell him the uh, BIX, the balance line driver crossover that we're going to also be making again. Okay. And we're going to sell him the, uh, I'm going to sell him the, the old, uh, <clears throat> the 300 BIQ, which is also balance line in, right? So his head unit's going to go right into the EQ, right into the crossover, right into the two amplifiers. I'm going to take the 100 and I'm going to put that. Depending on who I am, some may want to do a one ohm bridge load on a couple of twelves, whatever, whatever it might be. Okay. And and uh and that way I have more flexibility with my ohm load. You can do a two bridge if you want. You can do two stereo because you got a mono button. So really it's mono. You're gonna get the same signal. Nothing yeah. fancy with that. Uh so um what what you're gonna do is is take your 100, drop it on that low ohm load if need be for that sub kit, and then you take your NT 200, which you will put that on your highs because you can have more power at a higher ohm load, like at your four ohm load stereo or your two right. ohm load stereo. Because I, I mean, everyone thinks different, but old school thinking, we don't put highs on one ohm loads. We don't put, you know, at the most two. No, ohm we don't. Loads we don't stereo. make it, but they don't come yeah. on ohm load. At a four, no, we don't no, make it eight. So. No, Ag no, Edgar. I'm saying someone taking some door uh, separates and and putting a one ohm load on each channel and and when you're when you're. Core with your components, that's stupid. But anyway, that's another topic for another day. But what I'm saying is people like two ohm and four ohm stereo for your highs. Typically people mm -hmm. like two ohm mono and one ohm mono for your lows. Again, mm -hmm. I'm only speaking for this stuff because I know things are a little different in you guys' world with all the new shit you're doing. I, I don't right. know. This, exactly. This is, right, right. right. That, that's how we need to know. So what yeah. you just said to me, yeah. okay, I can understand. Okay, okay, yeah. But, so, so, uh, so uh, You know, the guys are like, Okay, it's because okay, so what that's, I, I think does that answer does that it's, answer it's that 900. Question? You know what is a good what what idea you gave me there? Mm -hmm. Okay, listen, we're not giving you uh a, a, a power rating because they're all handmade, they're all gonna be hand tested, and every single one is gonna come with a birth certificate exactly of what has been tested in Jack's lab. If it's 961, 982, 940, 999, 1012. This is a okay. It ranges between nine hundred to a thousand watts, mm -hmm. mono or bridge. Yeah, it'll, it'll probably be within a couple points. You, you you like if we have it on a test, it'll all mm -hmm. be like like let's just say it's nine ninety two. It'll be between nine ninety two, nine ninety three, nine ninety four. It's not going to move too much. It'll mm -hmm. be. But again, also Edgar, I'm only using these numbers as a talking point because I know what we did back in the day. And yeah, today even those guys online, even the ones that talk smack out there. They'll put them on the dyno and they'll be like, you hey, know, they will buy it and put it in YouTube yeah. with a dyno and then they're going to say, oh, it the, it the, but it, and when it did the amount of power, okay, you know, and, oh, wow, that is and it. some of Ryan amps did not the, the red, the little baby red that everybody praised, And I was a big fan of the red still love it today, but it, it, it at a regular standard operational format, the way you're supposed to be thing didn't do 400 Watts. It didn't, but I, at the same time, Edgar, I seen modify one i mean a horrible crazy crazy f job and we put it on a dyno and he made it do 800 watts out of a baby red so but again a whole nother animal so it can happen it just depends on how fast you want to burn it up like a race car that's really right. it. Exactly. You know, like you can you make the nt louder absolutely a couple extra uh wounds right here on your secondary and your primary torreds change two zener diodes and we can have 48 or 58 voltages on the rail how long that's going to last in the field, though? We don't know. We know no, this no, way exactly. it's going to last, it's going to last 30 involved. years.
No, no, but this is not that. That is not my, you know, that's yeah. not my concern because, I know. like I said, if you want to go all technical and if you want to go yeah. all of this, like we said, this is a vintage amplifier. This is not a competition amplifier. Oh. This is a vintage SQ amplifier made in the USA, not a regular Orion amplifier, Class B, Class D, that's right. monoblock. That's, that's right. Seventeen thousand or five thousand. Right? That's right. This is like you said. This is not for your everyday guy. Okay, this is for somebody who knows their shit that you know understand the performance of this amplifier mm -hmm. all i need my guys the new people that come and say hey listen this is going to do between 950 to a thousand watts okay yes, on right. a crazy thz 0.0005 yeah, you know, yep, uh, yep. Uh, performance That's oh right. shit. okay listen That's brother right. i'm a serious guy i'm not a technical guy Call Jack, well, and Edgar, he will tell you more about it. Edgar, it's something else that I don't know if you guys incorporate this into your sales speeches. I wouldn't really think you would, and I don't want to say that in a in a asshole kind of way. But like when you do deal when a lot of the guys out there, and I know there's differences in D class too. I understand there's different grades. Okay, I know it's not one size fits all. I get that. Obviously, there's better designs than other, right? But uh, you you get uh, you know, I mean, when you start cranking up on this, you're gonna be somewhere around you know a. a Damn near 90% of the way, you're still not hearing any crackle at all. And a lot of the, again, I haven't heard the new Orion stuff. I'm, 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 I'm excited only to try the new stuff because we're all doing this together right now. And I, I just want to see what I'll have to send you, know? you. I'll yeah. have to send you one for you to, yeah. to look at it. Well, I, ha I have one. I'm going to be with it here soon. So I've got, oh, you one. have the, uh, you have I the, got the HCCA, the four channel web, the one you sent me. So uh, I'm okay with it. Dude, so, that's, you got the 4,000.4 H, right? I do, Jack? I do. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, no, and I, I love you. I would love your input on that because, look, as a matter of fact, we just redesigned that and we're making it smaller. Okay, well, that's good too. Well, that is good because it's a big. <laughs> so, so <laughs> what I'm saying is, when I start, most times when I'm starting to turn again, I'm just talking broad here. Okay, I know there's some well, different. Yeah, freely, freely. Why, why this is, is not, I didn't want to get into this. I yeah. just wanted to do an average power rating that we're going to sell the amplifier for. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's because yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about, because yeah. especially right now with these Brazilian style amplifiers that are bunch of shit over there, 7% mm -hmm. distortions yeah. and the brewing, all the speaker. And this is one of the things that I tell all my guys yeah. right now. Any, what's my first question when you blow a woofer with one of my speakers, what amplifier are you using? If you use a Brazilian amplifier, it's there is no warranty. Edgar, and you know what? People think we're assholes when we say that. But here's what we dealt with. Uh, I'm going to come in there and they're going to buy a badass pair of MB Quart when MB Quart was the, the Mac Daddy of everything. Sell them mm -hmm. the $499 pair of separates back then. Crazy money. But then they go save the money on the amp. They go down the street to the pawns, you know, get American bass amplifier or something, and they blow every thing in their doors up, right? And not understanding, they come in a store. I bought the most expensive speakers you had, and they break. You know what we started doing? Taking the f***ing MB tweeters, unplugging them, going to Radio Shack when that existed, buying them f***ing flower piezo horn tweeters, sticking them in the kick panels, and pointing it at them. Because that's the type of people that need their f***ers busted because they just break everything. thing. So my, my point is we dealt with like that. I'm uh, dealing with one right now. Don't yeah, worry. So, Today. So... So, so I get all the different, we all got, we all have the same problems. It just may exist in a slightly different way, but anyway, so, all right. So you got the idea on that part, Edgar. So what was the next, uh, the next question? No, I need to know 1000. That's it. We're, oh yeah. Yeah. No, say, nine, say it is 950 to a thousand watts average. Like I Put said, a thousand, if we wind up doing 1200 or 1100 or 1050, I'll tell you, and we'll update that. Okay. Because we're going to be okay, beautiful. Okay. right around the corner. Okay. But anyway, uh, my right, other thing is um, equalizers, crossovers, does it come with it? No. Uh, you mean built in the amp? Yeah. No, it's a straight through amplifier, which is the big key for old school stuff. They don't want any other those components on the board. And here's why what we say. This is the reason. Why are you going to put my EQ and all kind of my sensitive components on the same PCB and the same heat sink that's burning hot? Those components don't need to be hot. The higher your heat goes, the more you, everything else goes shit. Okay, so that was that's what you asked me about the EQ and crossover. Yeah, we're definitely we're definitely going to come back with this one, which is a uh, which is a, a two channel, uh, crossway high and low, 
with balanced inputs. Uh, Jack. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, liberator, when, when are we going to be able to supply this amplifier? I have an inventory available, or are we going to ship as needed? I can tell you that um, anywhere window between minimum of 60, maximum of 90 days, I know we can cover the orders that's coming in. Now, if something happens where we get all 200 of them sold, then yeah, it could run a little late on that. But then again, fucking jumping for joy and we're pushing the coal on the fire at that point. Like we're working 20 hours, you know what I mean? You guys call me next week and say, dude, another 70 amps went out. That's when things actually change over here too, okay? Because again, shoveling the coal on the fire, we'll keep up with that. But right now we don't have to exactly like kill ourselves and worry about making some mistake on the first batch. I don't want to, I don't, you know, I want to be real careful. No, so no, no, I know, like I said, my so let's write that down. Lead time. That's it. Yeah. Like that. Look, your the truth is your guys. And when I say you guys, you know what I mean? I know they cross over a little bit. Some guys, mm -hmm. new school, old school, like the other stuff. I get it. But I understand as a corporation, as a company, as a Ryan out there selling your amplifiers and your speakers and your separates and cables, those guys need the shit now. They're building stuff or they went out because they bought it for a present or whatever they want to amp. No, 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 Jack, you're mixing. No, Jack, you're mixing. Yeah. I tell you, yeah. Am vintage amplifiers, top of the line. I, I they, this have nothing to the way yeah. we're gonna sell it. I told you, we already spoke about it. Yeah. This is a vintage amplifier. This is a. If you have to wait for 360 days, you gotta wait. But I have to be able. That's to what tell I'm them. saying. That's what I'm you saying. Gotta, I be. I gotta be That's able to I'm tell saying. them. I can. I can't just tell somebody. Buy it. And I will let you know when to ship it. No, but, right. What no, 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 no. I got you. I got you. Mm -hmm. I was, again, going to conclude with the same thing you just said, okay? Um, mm -hmm. So I'm 100% on what you just said.